I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Umberto Nodal. He is CEO of Cementos Pacas Mayo. Umberto, it's so great to see you. Thanks for joining me. Great to see you, Judy. Thanks so much for taking the time. Now, a quick note to our viewers, this interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSC doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. So, Umberto, this year, Cementos Pacas Mayo is celebrating its 10-year anniversary of listing on the New York Stock Exchange. Um, congratulations on this wonderful anniversary. Now, tell me, how has the company's progress been over the past 10 years? Well, thanks so much for, uh, for the congratulations. I think we're very excited. When we decided to list the company in uh, New York, um, like you said, more than 10 years ago, our idea was to really become a world-class company. We've always been a company that tries our best. Uh, we were already a uh, very important name in Peru, but we thought we could go outside Peru, outside of our comfort zone, and try to uh, learn from the big ones, learn from the big names. And of course, New York was the first name that came to our, to our mind. I think over these last 10 years, so many things have gone on. Uh, besides listing in New York, we went... Uh, Two years after that, we made a very successful uh, bond issue. And then uh, with that, we were able to build our third cement plant, which was in the city of Pure, north part of Peru. We opened this in 2017. But more than that, I think uh, in terms of uh, what we have uh, achieved, acquired, because of being in, a, in, a, in New York, is, I mean, the sense of corporate governance, the sense of transparency, access to information, the importance and relevance of shareholders, stakeholders in general. So I think uh, we have achieved a lot in, in that sense. When I when I look back 10 years ago, we were always, I think, a great company, but we are a much better one now. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact of the decision we did, we took to go to, to New York. I think a lot remains to be done, but precisely our uh, participation in these kind of spaces and always being very close to NYSC gives us the opportunity uh, to see what's going on in the world, what are, what are larger, bigger, better companies doing and uh, we always like to follow the best and uh, that's why we when I think about the 10 years I'm more excited about the 10 years that are going to come the 10 years that are the next 10 years and whatever I hope to be for some part of, of the 10 years here but I think Pacasmayo is always looking ahead always looking the future learning from the past but also always embracing the opportunities towards the future. Now tell me how are you managing digital transformation and innovation within your company? I think uh, digital transformation is fundamental in any company, but I am a firm believer that digital transformation has, has to me a prior, prior requirement, which is uh, a cultural transformation. I think we did uh, an enormous thing in 2017. We changed the vision of our company. We said, okay, guys, we are a very successful, more than 60-year-old cement company, but we are going to move now into the solutions. It's not about products anymore. It's about providing building solutions to our to our customers where it's a small customer small mama pop store a slow income family a government a big construction company so we moved dramatically in terms of our vision which required a cultural transformation of the company going from selling a product to selling services and i think once we did this it took us i would say 18 months still ongoing process then we had a very solid foundation to make a digital transformation which is what we did over the last two years now, I mean, we have a, a fantastic ecosystem called the Mundo Experto Pacasmayo, in which we have targeted all of the, uh, I would say, actors and actresses involved, from the foreman to the final consumer, to the authority, to the uh, medium uh, formal company. And I think this has really provided an incredible uh, UX for our customers. Like I said, where it's a small family or a big company, and we're gonna keep hitting that because we're firm believers that we may have great products, which we do, but I think if we can improve two things, the closeness to our end consumer and the user experience they have when they buy our solutions or our products, I think we want to remain not only the first 64 years of the company, but many more years to come. I'm convinced that uh, consumers anywhere in the world, in any latitude, in any continent, are looking for solutions, not only for products. So I think that has been a very big transformation for us culturally, and I think Digitally, the only reason we were able to do all, all this transformation is because we have uh, experimented a very important digital transformation also in the, in, the, in the past few years. Now tell me, what policies have been implemented for sustainable management? I think sustainable management is something that Pacasmayo has been trying to do way before this was kind of in fashion. I mean, you know, cement is a, in an industry that has it's been highly questioned because of the CO2 emissions, but 
20 years ago, we started really changing our cements to be able to provide more green uh, cements, more environmentally friendly cements, lowering the clinker factoring, using calcine clays, using pustulanic materials, using whatever fuels we have here. So I think Pacasamayo was already very identified, very gung ho in, in trying to do these things. Now, what we have done, and I think once again, being in New York has been a, a very important for us. We've taken it so much further. I mean, we're now part, part of the Dow Jones Sustainability Index. We're the only uh, Peruvian cement company recognized in the 2021 yearbook. And we are permanently moving ahead. I mean, we're, uh, I believe, ranked eight out of 69 companies that were evaluated. And, and, and this, and I go back to my, my answer, my first question. I mean, being in New York gives us a chance to get compared to the best in the industry. And not in our industry, to, but to the best I would say in the business community. So I think uh, there's no company, unless we have very clear sustainability policy, people tend to think that sustainability is only related to the environment, it's not the case. I think sustainability has to do with the way the company relates with workers, shareholders, communities, governments, the environment, security, uh, health, and I can keep going on and on. And I think the company now is, I mean, a very focused, in having a, a very sustainable company, like I said, this year, we turn, I believe, 65 years. And the only way to reach not 65 more, but to reach 70 is if we prove to be a very sustainable company. And then we are really, really uh, very much focused on that. Well, Umberto, it's a pleasure to have Cementos Pacasmayo as part of the NYSE community. And thank you so much for joining me on NYSE Floor Talk. Thank you so much for inviting. Uh, and like I said, I think we're extremely grateful to NYSE I think we are the kind of company we are today in part to the great collaboration and the fact we've been present there. So our gratitude for our first great 10 years.